There is nothing more fickle than the entertainment industry, and fame and fortune can fade away just as quickly as they came. While there are many celebrities from regular television shows that struggle financially, it seems like reality stars have an especially hard time holding on to their assets. So stay tuned till the end of the video as we count down 10 TV show stars who have gone broke. Reality TV stars seem a lot more likely to file for bankruptcy than stars of other television shows, though in the case of the Real Housewives of New York star Sandra Morgan, it apparently wasn't due to financial mismanagement or bad investments. Morgan filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2014, claiming to be nearly $20 million in the red. According to her, she had made a deal between her own company, Sandra Productions, and Hannibal Pictures Incorporated to make a John Travolta starring film called Fast Flash to bang time, which never happened because of Travolta's alleged diva demands. As a result, Hannibal Pictures sued Morgan, a lawsuit that resulted in a $7 million judgment against her that she appealed. In June 2015, the reality TV star told E! News that with administrative fees, the $7 million judgment was actually closer to $9 million. Morgan subsequently had to sell her homes in France and Colorado, but she still wasn't out of the woods just then. As different lawyers involved in her bankruptcy case sued her for tens of thousands of dollars. Although two cases by different lawyers were dismissed on technicalities, the bankruptcy process lasted around five years and cost her $9 million. And it seems like Morgan is still not doing too well as she recently listed her iconic Upper East Side townhouse as well, which she previously rented out for $32,000 per month. According to real estate records, this housewife of New York officially put her former home on the market on November 14th, 2019, for $10,750,000. Chrisley Knows Best is a reality series that centers around the lives of Georgia real estate king Todd Chrisley and his family. The patriarch of the family once boasted that his main home is 30,000 square feet, but it later turned out that he had apparently managed to acquire some of his real estate empire by simply not paying his taxes. When Chrisley filed for bankruptcy in 2012, a lot of questions about his legal state of residency came up as well, which he originally listed as Florida, according to WSB TV2. However, the Atlanta-based news station then discovered that the real estate guru had apparently failed to file state tax returns in Georgia, where he actually resided, for a whole eight years. According to the bankruptcy filing, which Chrisley did a refile in Georgia, he owed an incredible $49.4 million against his claimed net worth of $4.2 million in assets. The reality TV star somehow managed to get an agreement in 2015 that saw the filing being discharged, and Chrisley paid paying a mere $150,000 fee, according to Radar Online. But despite emerging from the situation nearly unscathed, Chrisley seems to have found himself in new financial troubles, recently being indicted on conspiracy, bank fraud, wire fraud, and tax evasion charges. Former model Brandi Glanville became a reality TV star when she appeared on a few seasons of Bravo's The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Being on a show where money is at the forefront obviously made us believe that Glanville was just as wealthy as her castmates, but when Glanville joined the show, she was nearly broke. With little income and zero credit after husband Eddie Cibrian had dumped her for country singer Leanne Rimes three years earlier. She later even admitted that she and her two kids were living way above their means when she first appeared on the show and it was evident that she was the poor housewife of the show and not nearly as rich as the other women in her circle. Of course, poor is a relative term in this case, considering that Glanville was up against some super rich Beverly Hills ladies who probably shuddered at just the thought of not living in a huge mansion. Kate Goslin became a reality TV star after appearing on the TLC show John and Kate Plus 8, which first aired in April 2007 and later became Kate Plus 8 after she and John divorced in 2009. Kate is infamous for being difficult to work with and eventually had to come clean about having to live frugally and carefully due to her bankruptcy after her TLC show was cancelled in 2017. It seemed like her bank account could not keep up with her diva lifestyle and her net worth eventually sunk low enough to make her desperate for any other job in Hollywood, but it didn't seem like anyone was desperate enough to hire her until 2018 when the former reality star finally managed to convince TLC to put her back on their payroll and give her a new show called Kate Plus Date, which follows the mother of eight as she goes on dates. 
Charmed in Who's the Boss actress and diva Alyssa Milano made a series of bad investments and neglected to pay many outstanding bills, which added up to a million dollar debt. Like many other actors, Milano blamed her former business manager Kenneth Healy for her financial troubles and is so sure of his guilt that she used what little money she had left in her bank account to file a $10 million lawsuit against Healy in June of 2017. The actress also accused Healy of spending $5 million on renovating her home when it was only worth $3 million, a renovation project that violated Ventura County building codes, resulting in Milano having to pay $350,000 in fines. Healy denied the allegations, in turn accusing the couple of continuing to live a lavish lifestyle even as the remodeling project dampened their credit rating and left them deeply in debt. According to him, the couple spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a second home in the mountains, private planes, a country club membership, a boat, and numerous personal staff such as multiple nannies and housekeepers. It seems like for many reality TV stars, bankruptcy leads to even bigger legal issues as you will see as we go through this list. One of these stars who ended up in a legal mess was Abby Lee Miller, the infamous bullying dance instructor of Dance Moms. The dance studio owner pled guilty to bankruptcy fraud in 2016 after filing for bankruptcy in December 2010, owing more than $400,000 in taxes. However, Miller soon began appearing on the popular Lifetime show with film filming beginning just a few months after she had declared herself bankrupt, and when a bankruptcy judge handling her bankruptcy spotted her on TV, he realized that she probably wasn't as broke as she claimed to be, which led to her being accused of trying to hide over $750,000 in income she received for appearing on the reality show. In addition to that, Miller was charged with customs fraud after trying to smuggle more than $120,000 in Australian currency into the US. Following the Dance Moms Masterclass tour, the reality TV star was eventually sentenced to one year and one day in prison, followed by two years of supervised release. She reported to prison in July 2017 and was transferred to a halfway house in March of the following year before being released and hospitalized a couple of months later due to being diagnosed with Burkitt lymphoma, a type of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. Joey Lawrence was a child star in the early 1980s, but is probably best known for his role as Joey Russo in the popular 90s sitcom Blossom. Between 2010 and 2015, he starred alongside Melissa Joan Hart on the sitcom Melissa and Joey, and just a couple of years later, the actor and his wife Chandy Yon Nelson had to file for bankruptcy. According to The Blast, the couple only had $8,000 in the bank at the time of filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy because of unpaid loans credit card debt, back taxes, and unpaid rent left them in the red by nearly $19,000 each month. Another real housewife who is not as rich as she appears on the show is Peggy Tannis of the Orange County cast. She only appeared on one season of the show back in 2011, but while she presented herself as a wealthy Orange County party girl who loves her bling, Bentleys, and plastic surgery on the show, things looked a lot different in her real life just a couple of years later. In 2013, Tannis filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, listing $840,000 in assets, as well as $2,500 a month month in non-court ordered child support income, and a mere $30,000 in yearly income against liabilities totaling $2.6 million. And it seems like things have only gone downhill since then, as Celebrity Net Worth currently values the former Real Housewife's assets at a negative $3 million, saying that she and her husband have been dealing with a mountain of financial difficulties recently and may be losing their home, as they are facing the threat of foreclosure while also being involved with lawsuits against three banks. After the MTV show Jersey Shore debuted in 2009, the cast quickly rose to fame, but just three years later it all came to an end. Although Mike the Situation Sorrentino was one of the most popular cast members, and thanks to several endorsement deals, the second highest paid reality TV star after Kim Kardashian in 2010, it all fell apart just a few years later. In September 2014, Sorrentino was charged with tax fraud, allegedly avoiding paying taxes on 
on $8.9 million. According to the US attorney, him and his brother Mark had established S corporations that paid for personal expenses but had failed to report income. Two and a half years later, they were hit with more charges for tax evasion and the structure of bank deposits to avoid reporting thresholds. The reality TV star who is also part of the reboot of the MTV series titled Jersey Shore Family Vacation was sentenced to eight months in prison after pleading guilty to one count of tax evasion and reported to prison in January 2019. Danielle Staub is yet another real housewife who lost it all and ended up filing for bankruptcy. She was a main cast member of The Real Housewives of New Jersey for two seasons between 2009 and 2010, before appearing as a friend for three more seasons. But she apparently didn't make enough from her appearances on the show and filed for bankruptcy protection in 2012, listing $1.9 million in debt and saying she only made $63,791 that year. Staub owed $111,161 to the IRS, $70,000 in taxes to Wayne Township, and $5,162 in New Jersey state taxes, as well as various other legal fees. In addition to that, she had various other liabilities, which were mostly consumer debts, including bills from Nordstrom for a whopping $7,270, and smaller ones to Gap and Annie Says clothing stores. According to TMZ, Staub then tried to hide some of her assets during the discovery phase of her bankruptcy case, but then quickly forked over $35,000 to creditors in a settlement to avoid criminal charges. A couple of years later, Radar Online reported that the former reality television star was officially discharged of her $1.9 million bankruptcy debt, with the exception of her back taxes, which she still has to pay. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.